What's going on everybody? So the countdown to race week is just about over. It is Friday and tomorrow is race week, which is Saturday. It starts on June 15th. So Clyde's pretty much done. It will be going without a hood because I don't want to cut the hood because uh, I can't get another hood if I cut it for a different intake or whatever. So it's going to run without a hood. Hopefully we don't run into a bunch of rain, but I got some plans if we do. Um, otherwise, we got everything pretty much finished up. Got the carpet in, put some seat covers over so we're not tearing up the foam and the stock seats any more than we have to. I uh, got a little Bluetooth speaker for a radio, a little scan gauge to uh, keep an eye on all the gauges. Also have all the tuning and everything. Um, got everything loaded up, pretty much gonna use tonight as a test night, other than the roof bag, which will hold our luggage. Tonight's gonna serve kinda as a uh, final test to make sure we have everything we need. Um, and if not, hopefully I figure it out before we leave tomorrow morning. Uh, actually, tomorrow's Saturday. We race in Pueblo and then we come back home. But still, I want to have everything ready to go, all complete, good to go. Um, got a tool bag today. Kind of just went and bought all the tools I know I need. Just made a separate bag for the car. Extra plug wires in case we happen to melt one. Some line in case something happens to the in line. Got the race wheels and tires. I did end up getting a set, uh, another set of the rims. And then just put some all-seasons on there. They're just some like cheap $50 all-seasons um because we've been having a lot of rain and if we hit rain then hopefully we can uh be all right and not have to drive through it on radials so uh some other things i got uh just a couple tarps uh jack because we will be changing tires at each track i have the impact in the car which will help with that and then just some other miscellaneous little things brake fluid some detailer to wipe the car down because she is just so pretty um talking about someone that's so pretty so we're gonna go april's gonna make her first passes tonight um and we'll see how she does so i'm probably gonna make a couple passes maybe dial the car in have work on the tune a little bit data log make sure everything looks good make sure everything's safe in the car and then put her in it and try to make a couple hits uh so she can get familiar with driving it and uh she's driven around on the street just a little bit but tonight she needs to actually make some full passes but i want to make sure the car is safe for her to do that in so uh otherwise yep so we're gonna head out to the track right now and See how the night goes. All right, everyone, so we made it out. Lights ready to go, teched in, past tech, which is a good thing. So going to uh, probably adjust the tune just a little bit more uh, and just see what it does. And then I'll probably end up hooking up the O2 and all that. I'm just kind of doing a rough end tune just so we can make sure everything's good to go and then dial it in here in a bit. But uh, yeah, the Buick's out here too. We're trying to make some uh, attempts at making some hits to see what the changes in the rear end did. He uh, adjusted the rear end geometry on the four or on the three link i guess to hit the tire harder since it is a drag radio so hopefully by hitting the tire harder it'll plan it better because last time it was spinning we also realized it was a little low on air pressure so we outdid some air pressure uh so just trying to get it ready because once we get back from race week we're taking that car to the airstrip attack the next day good there uh, but it sounded a lot healthier on that pass for sure 
All right, so we're headed up for April's first pass. Get her, trying to get her comfortable with Clyde. So, yeah, pulling up here into the lanes. Let's make a Excited. Pass. Yeah. Nervous. All right. <laughs> See what she can do here. All right, so you're gonna pull up. You'll watch him, and he'll wave you into the water box. So pull up straight. Okay. Straight. I'm there you go. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Okay, now hold your foot on the left and give it some gas until it starts spinning. Hold, hold more on the brake. There you go. Good job. There you go. Good job. Okay, slow down. Okay, now you want to wait for him to pull up here with you. So go ahead and just slowly keep rolling forward. More, 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 more. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, let him get going a little more. Break. Just wait. You don't have to rev it, just wait. Go. a little slippery. She didn't do a big burnout, so it made a difference. <laughs> wow, that was pretty cool. Have fun? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, you can't really see us, but hopefully you can hear us. <laughs> well, I want to do another one now. <laughs> now she's addicted this, to right? it. <laughs> All right, so let's see what her first pass was. Thank you. What'd you do? Um, well, Your left lane. Dang, she left it early and still went the. She actually went faster, 1350. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What was my reaction? You need to go. 0.6. That is left, right? We were left lane. 883. Eight, yep. I need a reaction. <laughs> she went 1350. We didn't change anything in the tune. She actually left it early because uh, it only went 90 mile an hour. I freaking. That's so funny. Me. It picked up. Must be the air. Naturally aspirated car changing a lot with the air. <laughs> all right everyone that is it for this video thank you so much for watching we finally got Clyde to the track went 13.5 April ended up doing the fastest pass yet last night it's pretty awesome uh, got her a little bit more comfortable with racing and in the car and she had fun so we'll uh, be doing a lot more of that this week because uh, today now is the beginning day of Rocky Mountain Race Week we'll make uh, go through tech do passes and race in Pueblo tonight and then be back here at home and then leave for Denver in the morning. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with Clyde and we'll see you guys next time.